I'm cruising around with a friend, B9 S4, and his oil temps reached over 240. It should we run thicker oil in summer and hotter temp in the hundred minutes? If it's just cruising, th those oil temps are are managed by the ECU, yeah. so it's targeting you know probably one hundred and ten ish C, which is right in that yeah. ballpark. No, two forty is um, where it's looking. yeah, and that that's there's there's you know emissions reasons. Uh, there's mm -hmm. there's um, a number of reasons the ECU is going to be targeting that. So that's that's absolutely normal, yeah. and it's it's not really going to it's not going to matter what uh, what oil you're running. Um, the ECU is going to be able to you know manage that uh, that temperature. Oil thickness doesn't have a lot to do with its temperature. The oil thickness has to do with its viscosity at different temperatures. So um, if, for example, you were in very, very hot climate um, and you were seeing really, really high loads, uh, the viscosity of any given oil will reduce or it will get thinner as temperatures increase. So, so then you would want to increase the base viscosity so that you could achieve a higher level of viscosity at the higher temperatures. Um, I, I think we can assume that you're not in some extraordinary climate and uh, just cruising around uh, is not putting any load on the engine. Like Nate said, the, the ECU is actually controlling the oil temp to be 240 degrees at that point. So, so you're good. And this also bodes well for your oil because inevitably due to condensation inside the block, you are getting a lot of water in your oil. And at 240 degrees, that water is evaporating very quickly and boiling off. Uh, so so that's, that's actually one of the reasons the factory does keep oil temps above the boiling points. You would actually not want to be cruising around with 190 degree oil temps. At that point, water would be building up in your oil. And, um, and we, we, we talk about that a lot on here.